you know YouTube uh, just doing a video on some different types of drills just um, right down from 10 volt up to 36 volt and then a quarter drill just so you can see the difference um, I personally for light sort of work and general day-to-day -day work I use the 10 volt drill the 10.8 Bosch there um, and then probably the 18 volt impact driver I use for everything else um, anyway one thing I will add though is the Makita 18 volt impact driver. I've got a little Bosch impact driver there I use as well. If you're using cheap screws, the Makita uh, impact driver tends to snap the screws whereas the Bosch doesn't. I'm going to be using a 16mm spade bit, uh, which is a bit much for the littler drills, but it gives you an idea of how much power those little drills have. This is the Bosch 10.8 lithium ion uh, drill. It's really lightweight, um, got, a, got a fair bit of power for a little 10, 10 10.8 bolt drill, you, it surprises you. Um, I use this for mainly overhead work and general day to day use. It's nice and light, it's portable, um, it's really, really tough, you can drop it and it won't hurt it. Um, great for doing uh, overhead work like screwing up sheeting, stuff like that, um, removing doors, stuff that, you know, light sort of work. This is a Black & Decker Firestorm 18 volt cordless drill. It's got an iCAD battery, so it um, has that memory effect that I talked about in the other video. So uh, every time you charge it, it loses that little bit of power every time, eventually the battery's buggered. Um, it's a pretty good round the house kind of drill. Um, not You wouldn't use it professionally, it's too weak. The case twists if you, you can bend it in your hands quite easily. But it's got a good feature where you can um, actually remove the chuck and put a screwdriver bit in the chuck and then have a drill in the chuck itself so you can quickly switch between drilling and uh, using a screwdriver with this chuck which I haven't seen on any other drill. This is the Makita LXT 18 volt drill. Um, this is a new one for me. I, I think this is an awesome drill. It's um, really lightweight for, the, for an 18 volt drill. Um, plenty of power. Um, actually comparable in power to the 36 volt Bosch, which, I'm, which is next. Um, I, I was really surprised that I hadn't used them one after the other before. And it's probably nearly as good um, as the 36 volt Bosch drill. So I, I'd say for professionals, this is the drill you'd want. Um, or the DeWalt equivalent or something like that. This is the Bosch cordless lithium ion 36 volt drill. Um, it's, it's probably the most powerful cordless I have. I, what I'd use this for is really heavy, um, probably hammer drill function, drilling into concrete, stuff like that, um, or really big screws if I was doing that all day, um, into hardwood or something like that. Um, good drill, but it's a bit too heavy for overhead work. It, it weighs a ton for a cordless drill. You can just see the size of the battery there. It's quite big. Anyway, this is just a cheap power drill I got from Bunnings. I think it cost me $30. Um, it, it's obviously corded. It's, it's got heaps of power, the same as any corded drill you'll buy anywhere pretty much. Um, probably suggest this for, for a homeowner for sort of heavy, heavy tasks, got a hammer drill function as well. <laughs> 